Welcome back, everybody. We are in a brand new Digimon format. This format is going to last till EX03. We got the new Jessmon, the Ragnarokmon starter decks, the BT10, and it's this format is going to span into EX03. Um, I will be showcasing the Jessmon deck today. It is definitely the better of the Jessmon slash Ragnarokmon, but I recommend you pick up two decks uh two starter decks of each because they come with these amazing full art tamer reprints so they david's itself is already worth it um so if you pick up two of each um they if you pick up two of each you'll have a play set of all of these tamers the ones that are mostly used right now is obviously the davis davis is going to come in handy with examon coming out um then you have uh izzy izzy is currently being played for um the Ragnar Lomon deck but you know it's not as important but they, they they look good they all have like a different design pattern on them too um but you know all right back to today today we have the how to soup up the Jessmon deck Jessmon is one of the best red decks of this format it is between this and uh Shoutmon but overall showing wise that tops it's mostly shoutmon but this does have a lot of tops as well um for jessmon there are three variants and it depends on how you want to play your budget etc um the type of player you are for which variant and i'll go over all three but i'm going to tell you that this is not um there the three variants are there's a uh gankumon version there is a budget version which is very control but it does not run gx um and then there's the pure red version that does run gx uh i personally like the gx version but the budget version actually is really good too i'll i'll go over them all right so to start with we got four gurimon as your eggs so with jessmon the style is basically the same um as the original jessmon deck from double diamond so you're not moving you're not hatching and moving up a lot you want to build a stack in the back and then move it up when it is ready so you move it up when it is um, an ultimate or going into an ultimate where you don't pass turn and then go into Jessmon. Um, the it's a little different now because you do have more sister mons um, and that is kind of the weakness with this deck, but I'll uh, go over a little bit more. Um, for Gurimon, so if this Digimon has 6,000 more DP, you draw one. Um, it used to be where you would play like Baby Dramon to get your Jessmon up to like 16, I believe. Yeah, it was like 11 plus 3 for the Jessmon and then Baby Dramon. So 16 would be big enough uh, to swing over anything that your opponent could possibly have in security. There is a 16,000 now with Omnimon X Antibody coming out, so um, 16 exactly isn't the safest, but I mean, how often are you going to run Smash right into an Omnimon X Antibody? Um, but yeah, so since you're not hatching and moving up that much, you want to build up in the back. You only need the four eggs, and then the four draw eggs are obviously the ones that everybody likes to play. All right, um, so we're going to start with the Megas. So I only play two Jessmon GXs. Um, I have a third copy right here. I picked up all of these at my sneak peek. Um, and this is a really good card. However, I did not want to run more than two because since this is Jessmon, Jessmon is searchable. A lot of the older cards and the newer cards all say with Jessmon in its name as well. So this is actually searchable. Um, so he is actually the key piece for two of the variants. So the this variant where, you know, and the reason it's important is because of the wind digivolving effect. When digivolving, you can place one card with Royal Knights in its traits uh, and a play cost of 13 or less from your hand underneath it. And then you trigger its wind digivolving skill. And then it has Blitz. And then for each Royal Knight, it gets Piercing, Blocker, and Security plus one. Now, how this works is... Um, if you were playing the Gankumon X Antibody, uh, you know, variant, the actual mix of red and black variant, you would essentially go on a Jessmon, um, Jessmon with swing, triggering, uh, you play one of the sister mons that lets you, uh, on play evolve, you evolve into the Jessmon, and then you slide a Gankumon X Antibody underneath 
and then Gankumon X Antibody would trigger to play a Sistermon, and then it would also give your um, Digimon 2000 and can't be returned to hand or deck or reduce their DP. It would essentially give them protection for a turn. Um, as you can see, it doesn't protect from destruction of effects, but there is a new Sistermon with decoy that will protect uh, with destruction. Um, I not currently playing this version. I'm playing the more aggro version. Um, so I am playing the Jessmons, um, just the Jessmons. All right, so two Jessmon uh, GX. Next, I have three Jessmons uh, starter decks. So this one, in this deck, you really don't have the room to play Tamers. So you really do want to play this over the old Jessmon, um, even though it is, you know, four cost. The power doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of does, but you also get another 3k, a security plus one. But it's when attacking, you play a Digimon with Sistermon from your hand. It's only from hand. The old Jessmon would have played from hand or trash. This one is only from hand. Um, but the main point is, because you don't play Tamers, you need that Blitz, right? I'm not maxing these out, Jessmon, at four because this is searchable. You can search off of the Sistermons, the options, etc. Um, Jessmon's weakness currently is the same as it's always been because you play a deck full of white cards, all the Sistermons. Um, you might not be able to evolve up in time. The main concern with that is the earlier levels. Um, that was one of the big weaknesses, you know, back in um, Double Diamond. A lot of people only played like six red rookies, right? They would play like two Beomons and then four Huckmons, and you wouldn't never have uh, anything to evolve. I changed it up. I, you know, cut back on a lot of the support cards, the options, etc., to throw in more red rookies, more red champions, um, back when to make it more consistent, um, cause the evolving and drawing early and then having that thing in the back row is actually what made the deck really good. Um, so again, because it's searchable, only three. All right, um, I do have a fourth copy right here and then a fourth copy of um, the X Antibody as well. So I have three here. So this is a great card. This is essentially just my mix with uh, Judgment of the Blaze. You know, you used to play Judgment in the Blaze. You play like two copies of you triggered into security. You get to play like a Sistermon from Hand or Trash, which is really good. Um, actually used to save me a game. And the fact that you can un attack unsuspended was amazing. But this is essentially mixed with that. You don't have to go on a Jessmon. It's zero if you do go on a Jessmon, or you could just evolve it as this. So like you move it up, you have the three, you could just evolve onto this. Um, but it is only a one turn effect. So when you're Digivolving, you may play a Digimon with Sistermon in its name from your hand or trash without paying its play cost. Then if Jessmon is in this Digimon's Digivolution, or if you have a Digimon with Sistermon, so it's gonna trigger off of its own effect, you're gonna have Sistermon. Um, until the end of your opponent's turn, all of your Digimon uh, may also attack unsuspended and get 2K, right? And then it also has piercing. So this is a control card. Depending on the situation, if your opponent doesn't move a Digimon up, um, they know how they know how Dig, uh, Jessmon works. If they if they think you have this one, you uh, and they don't move something up, you go into this. This one has the security plus one. Um, if they did move something up and you wanted the control, you go into Jessmon X Antibody. And because it's still twelve costs or less, um, if you want to re-trigger the effects, you could re-trigger it off of Jessmon GX, which is something that I really like. Um, that's why I don't play the Gan Kumon X Antibody version. I just personally like this um yeah so all right next we have four savior huckmon uh this is the new savior huckmon from the starter deck it can also attack your opponents unsuspended uh yeah, not that important uh this one gives kind of the uh is a little bit better if this digimon has royal knight as traits you can play a sister mon um, from your hand or trash from without paying its memory cost so you can double up when attacking um with him uh or you know digivolving on him and then a swing you could double up you essentially play two sister mons um this basically i mean it's a great card it's essentially replacing the old jessmon skill so that um save your huckmon uh everybody knows what this is this is at one uh you know if you have a sister mon unsuspend that's going to be obviously really good it's searchable but you know once you lose this one 
you're gonna have to recycle it, right? And the only way to really recycle it, you have to play one of the Awakens, which to be honest, a lot of the Japanese decks do not play, um, but we'll get into that. All right, uh, next, uh, Chimeramon, two Chimeramons. I see a lot of people play three. It is not searchable. I don't like clogging my deck up with a lot of later levels, um, but you do get the Chimeramons, so you can, you know, use up your sister mons, your extra sister mons, DNA it into Chimera Mon. Well, specifically Seal. So if she's a level four, you can slap two seals together and then grab a red from your trash when you DNA. So this way, this will then be treated as a red, and then you could go into a Jess Mon, which is amazing. So two copies. Um, all right. Then I got four Bauhuck Mon. This is the old one where if you have a sister mon, delete something with 5,000 or less when you swing once per turn. Um, effects not really that important. I mean, it's good to have, obviously, but mainly the name that is Huckmon, so you can search for it. This is the new Huckmon. It basically just gives a thousand. Uh, enough said, basically for the name. Uh, all right, four Huckmon, the best searcher. You reveal top five, add up to two cards with Huckmon, Jessmon, or Sistermon in their names. That means you, yes, you can add, uh, you can add jessmon gx it doesn't say specifically just mine it says in their name so jessmon gx does qualify so you can grab jessmon gx and everything like that so four of those and then four of this huck mine where when you attack reveal top five at all sister mons in um from among them so you definitely want to evolve into this one and then hard play this one all right uh so again not a lot of champions that you can evolve into, not a lot of rookies you can evolve into. So that's why, you know, the deck kind of can be clunky, but you definitely want to go uh, heavier on the lower end rather than on the higher level end. All right, two Solarmon. This is a wider deck, right? We have been playing a tall format with BT9. You know, your OTK with Alphamon, your OTK with Garurumon, your um, Black War Greymon. We've been in a very tall format this is definitely a wider deck right and wider decks have a real real problem right now with death x mon this deck can actually get just ruined by death x mon um so luckily we can you know we ha either have to beat them faster or we can hard drop the solar mon so they can't reduce the play cost so they'll have to find a way to pop this and then pop um play down the death x mon um, which, you know, if they pop this um, in some way, then, you know, the cost for Death Exmon is a little more. So hopefully that will offset your um, offset your loss a little bit. Um, as in, like, they'll have to pay three more, you know, because they, they had to get rid of a body. And the reason I say that Death Exmon could really hurt this deck is because, you know, being able to destroy essentially the lowest level um, coming out, d evolving, destroying the lowest level, would essentially destroy like your blockers, your all your sister mon, your support cards, right? So that's what's really um, painful. All right, so let's get into the sister mon. So these obviously are kind of key pieces of the deck and because they are white, they're not, you know, you can't really digivolve on them. You can't really use them for anything. Um, you can't really use them for you know like evolution to draw so it does kind of i want to say i don't want to say make the deck more clunky it just the digivolution kind of hurts because you will have to hard play some of these um i don't want to say clunky because some of them do draw etc so all right let's go into it so this one you play essentially play two of each uh sister mons because they're recyclable right um so this one give a permanent uh huckmon and royal knight 2k all of them um, and then on play gain a memory enough said that's basically all it's there for this one I really did underestimate um, so it's on play if it's your turn you may did you uh, did you one of your Digimon may digivolve into a Royal Nine Inch trade for uh, in your hand for its Digivolution cost. And then when one of your Digimon evolves into a Huckmon in its name, a Royal Nine Inch trade gain another memory. So essentially another plus one memory off a of seal. But the important part is the on play. So say you swing with um, the starter deck Jessmon, right? Its starter deck Jessmon allows you, or if you have the Savior Huckmon, where you can play this, have a chance to play the Sistermon while you are a Mega. You swing, you go into Jessmon GX, uh, evolve it into Jessmon GX, even if the turn passes over, the attack is already happening. You then get to place another Royal Knight underneath, triggering um, triggering Jessmon GX's effect. Two D, uh, two did you uh, get another security attack, and um, 
yeah, you basically get another security attack plus one. Um, it's really good. And, you know, you also get it cheaper because you get the one memory back. Um, all right. Uh, if you were to play the pure red no GX variant, you actually would not need this. This is mainly for GX. Unless you can play the system on early, I really don't think you're going to get this um, evolving up, um, gaining a memory. It's just not worth it because you'll have to find a way to play this early enough, which the only thing I can really think of is if you did it off of... Uh, the old Savior Huckmon and then evolve into Jessmon, but again, not really worth it because at that point, I mean, what are you doing? All right, these two Sistermon seals. So this is one of the new searcher ones on play real top three, add a Huckmon or Royal Knights, and then you trash the rest. It doesn't matter if we trash the rest because we can grab a lot of the important pieces, right? Um, is we definitely wanted to like trash more sister mons, etc. Um, so we can, you know, just play them from the trash. Um, but the best part is that if you have a Huckmon or Royal Knight, uh, all your Huckmon and Royal Knights get reboot. So Jessmon GX is a blocker. Um, so you swing, you get to reboot it. And this way your opponent can just at the swing and attack into it. Um, so that's actually really amazing. Again, if you're not playing Jessmon GX, don't really need this you could actually substitute it for some uh, extra copies of the other sister mon i am playing one sister mon blanc awaken um a lot of the decks in japan don't play any of the awakens i wanted to play an awaken because first of all sister mons are recyclable you can get a recovery plus one and um you can recycle your jessmon huckmon or sister mons with her so obviously you're not going after the you're not going after, you know, another Sister Mon because you could play Sister Mon any which way with so many of these cards. But your Jess Mons and all of that, if they did, you know, end up in security, etc., you have no other way to get it out of trash. So if you can find a way to just play her, which, again, you have plenty of options to play her, you then um, can get rid of her and then she gets she gets uh, to recycle. She gets to recycle one of the Jess Mon, Hook Mon, um, or Sister Mon, mainly the Just Mon Hulk Mon. Obviously, two of these uh, draw one on play. Um, I used to, when I used to get stuck, I, uh, I used to play four. When I would get stuck, I would just hard play this and then, you know, draw one uh, to try to get unstuck. But it gives all your Sister Mon a Hulk Mon blocker. Definitely important. Um, I wish I had the room to play more, but uh, two, I, w I might cut something else out to bump it up to three because it's such an important card this is like your only defensive card in this deck so and a lot of things pop you know 5k and lower either you know any which way so it's kind of a flimsy defense if you just have the two out um or just have the one out because then they can target it for some kind of removal and then all of a sudden you have no blockers um but thankfully, this is a faster variant of the old decks, so you should try to win. This is essentially there for the support to, you know, draw, and if you did need it, um, if you did need it to block, uh, if you don't pass your opponent's turn with too much, hopefully the way they get rid of it by using an option or something will, you know, waste a turn for them. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, two of the new Sister Mon block, where on play by trashing one card in your hand, draw two. Obviously, you'll be trashing, like, your extra Sister Mon, so you get to draw two. But this also has protection because it gets decoy. So if you're a Huck Mon or Ruin Eyes, this thing gets decoy. So you can, if it's to be destroyed, you can destroy this instead. Which is why the Gankumon X antibody version is so good, is because, you know, protection from effects, protection from bouncing back, um, and reducing DP. So you basically got covered on all fronts except D-Digivolution. Um, which I don't believe anything can cover. All right, so your last six cards are your options. You got two red memory boost. Obviously, there are turns where you need to be searching. This is purely for early, you know, you need to be searching. And there are times where your opponent just has something um, amazing out on the board. You don't want to move anything up. You don't want to play anything because they're just going to get rid of it. Uh, obviously, there are times where memory boosts are just better, so you can go for a bigger turn later. So two red memory boost. And then four from Master Disciple. This is an amazing, amazing card, okay? I cannot stress this enough. Reveal the top three, add one card with Huckmon or Sistermon or Rowan Knights 
from into your hand. Again, another searchable card. So many cards in this deck now to make it even more consistent. Um, trash the rest. We don't care about the trash. Um, we get we grab what we need. It's only a two cost. And then the delay is the next time it, it would did you evolve reduce it by one. So this is essentially a one cost searcher, right? Um, you do have to wait a turn, but like you do want to build up, you know, later in the turn, and you can just um, you can stack these. There's nothing saying that you can't stack this if you like play multiple copies you could just wait uh you do it one one at a time though you do have to um uh you you do have to do it one at a time because it says the next time um reduce the devolution caused by one i believe you do have to um you can't just like trash two and um go into like bow hookmon for zero i don't believe that's how it works because it just says reduce the cost by one i don't i don't believe it stacks but someone should check on that um, security revealed three from the top of your deck. Add one card with Huckmon or Sistermon in its name or Royal Knights in its trade among them to your hand. Trash the rest. Another way to search, and then it essentially gets that skill. So if it's triggered in security, it gets it. Gets it. Um, this is definitely one of the better of the two starter deck, but I would still recommend getting both. I will be doing deck profiles of um, the Ragnar Lomond starter deck as well as Team Blue Flare and maybe maybe cross heart i'm not sure yet um i did already pick up all the stuff for team blue flare um so let me give you like a little preview uh i i know how to build it um i've seen a lot of the list in japan i was i only picked I, I picked Team Blue Flare because I think it is the more fun version of uh, Digi Crossing compared to Red. Plus, nobody was going to fight me on grabbing Blue Flare. Everybody was gr busy grabbing the Shaman stuff uh, at our sneak peek. But I basically grabbed four copies of everything Blue Flare, and I am ready to put this deck together. Um, and then once I'm done playtesting this one, I will also be showing a deck profile um, later. All right, but thanks for watching, guys. I will... Uh, see you guys later.